country. We'll take a look at this tonight. Flags across the United States will be flown at half staff on Sunday to mark 15 years since the terror attacks on America in New York City. But today, Americans are already pausing to remember those victims and to reflect on one of the darkest days in the country's history. Tonight, NBC's Chris Pallone reports on the ceremonies held today and some of the big ones planned for this weekend. In New York City Friday, a solemn march. Remembering New York City police officers, those who died 15 years ago as the twin towers of the World Trade Center collapsed, and those who have died from September 11th related diseases since. Today, September 11th remembrances are as much about celebration as they are about solemnity, celebrating the lives of those lost, but also celebrating resilience, recovery, and rebirth. Literally out of the ashes, we have rebuilt stronger and taller. In the new building where the Twin Towers once stood, Homeland Security Director Jay Johnson marked the return of several federal agencies to Lower Manhattan, now housed in one World Trade Center. Terrorism cannot prevail if we refuse to be terrorized. In Washington, members of Congress sang and prayed on the Capitol steps. House Speaker Paul Ryan noted there's now a generation of Americans too young to fully understand the pain of September 11th. Our children may not fully understand the horror of it all, but they can admire the heroism. Many now draw inspiration from the survivors, people like Lauren Manning, who is in the North Tower and lives every day with the horror. We will all be touched by adversity or wounded at some point in our lives, but we can refuse to be held by it. 15 years. For some, it feels like it happened yesterday. For others, a lifetime ago. For both, a day which will never be forgotten. Chris Pallone, NBC News, New York. And Sunday here at 3.30 in Indianapolis, there'll be a ceremony at the 9-11 Memorial on West Ohio Street that's near the canal. I'll be there and the host and MC for the day. After the ceremony, the Wright brothers will perform a free concert. And also tonight at 5 o'clock, we have some breaking...